Hi, welcome to this video on how to approach solving the descriptive section in a CMA exam. As you are aware, the descriptive section constitutes 25% of the total score in a CMA exam. There are two questions to be answered with each question having five to six sub questions. Now, what is a student expected to do in this one hour? Let us theoretically break that each question a student has to solve in 30 minutes time. So in a 30 minutes span, a student has to read the question which will be approximately about 20 to 25 lines. Read each of these five to six sub questions and then answer them. Reading 20 to 25 lines in the question and understanding and solving within this 30 minutes time span is no easy joke. So it is all the more important that a student develops the ability to read fast and even understand faster. Of course, there are certain tips and techniques which when properly applied can ensure that a student can solve this within the time frame available. How does he approach this? I would suggest that the student has a quick glance on the five to six sub questions so that he will be able to categorize the sub questions into whether they are conceptual based questions or problem solving questions or questions based on the scenario given in the body of the question. Once a student has this idea, he can plan as to how much time he will need to solve each of these questions. The conceptual questions which generally would be about two to three in number can be answered immediately without even having to look at the body of the question because they are typical concept based questions. Once he has done this, he will have the balanced time for himself to solve the problem solving questions and also the scenario based question based on these problems. He has to be extremely strong in his concepts and ensure that he does not waste any time while answering these questions. It will be very handy if he is able to save some time while solving the multiple choice questions so that that time can be carried forward while solving the descriptive type of questions. It is extremely important that a student is adequately prepared before taking up the exams. The more important constraint is one needs to remember that this is going to be the last section of the CMA exam which comes after three hours of rigorous hundred multiple choice questions. So it is like running a marathon. The student has to ensure that his concentration level still remain the same when he comes to answering the descriptive questions. This cannot be done again overnight and he has to put in hours and hours of practice to ensure that even the last leg of this marathon is done to his full satisfaction. So please remember students, preparation is extremely important, not only for the multiple choice questions, but even for the descriptive questions for a different reason. Now, what should be the methodology a student has to adopt while answering the descriptive section of the CMA exams? All conceptual questions need to be answered to the point. There is absolutely no necessity of beating around the bush. Of course, the student will not have the time to do that. But still, considering that in an Indian scenario, this is often done, a student has to ensure that he answers to the point. If a particular question has multiple points to be answered, he has to ensure that he answers two to three most important points and need not be exhaustive when it comes to answering the same. It is very important that a student does not assume any information that is not given in the question. Please remember that the question will ensure that all relevant information that are needed to solve the question would be given and hence there is absolutely no necessity for him to assume anything. Lastly, concentration which is extremely important while answering the descriptive question because the descriptive question will have scenario based questions and also problem solving questions. You think this is too much for you to handle? Come over to Finspire. We are there to inspire and ensure that you learn all the tricks of the trade to succeed in your CMA examination 
in your first attempt together we can together we shall